Want to track user interactions in your app? Stay tuned to find out how. Hey everyone, I'm Fergie and I'm a UX designer based in London. I am back with this tutorial to show you exactly how you can integrate your Bravo app with Facebook app event tracking. This is going to allow you to track user interactions such as completing a purchase. This is included in the Bravo business app upgrade and also the advanced plan. Good news is there's no design tags needed for this one. Just a published app and a Facebook developer account. So let's get started. So to start with, you're going to want to head over to the Facebook Meta Developer Portal and either sign up or create your account. Once you've done that, you'll get a dashboard that looks a little bit like this. If you don't have any apps created here, then this will be empty, but I've already run through this. But don't worry, I'm going to take you step by step through the process. You're going to start by hitting this Create App button. Select your app type. I'm going to go ahead and select Business. And then type in my app name. And then select my Facebook business account that this is connected to and create the app. It may prompt you for your Facebook password, so go ahead and enter that. And then you'll come to a screen that looks like this. Now we are specifically looking at the app events that we're going to track. So we're going to go ahead and set this up. Now, of course, my app is on the Google Play Store. Yours might be on the Apple Store. So click whichever one is relevant for you. I'm going to go through here and select next because I need to get to this section that asks for the package name and then a few hash keys. So firstly, package name. I'm going to go back to Bravo Studio. This is my app. This is my wellness app that we've been using in the examples. And we're going to go to the publish tab, then publication, scroll down and copy your package name here. And then we're going to simply paste that in here. In this one here, we're going to type in Bravo activity and hit save. Continue. And then we need to get our key hash. So again, because we've published our app already, we're going to go to our publish tab and this time into history. And then from your last build, you're going to see key hash. You want to click on this copy button here. So you can see your key hash has been copied to your clipboard. Go back into our tab here and just hit paste and save. Continue. Next. So take note of this message here. Facebook will start tracking the users and the events, but there could be some delay. So for that first usage of getting stats, it could be delayed by about 20 minutes. And thereafter, the feed is about a few minutes uh, behind, but you do get all of the data. So we now need to do the settings within Bravo Studio. So you can see I have this app ID here. I need to copy this first. I'm going to go back into Bravo Studio integrations and analytics. I'm going to enable Facebook app events. I'm going to paste that app ID here. And then I need to get the client token. So head back over into the Meta for Developers dashboard, hit settings, advance. Scroll down and you'll see that token just here. So I'm going to copy that and paste it into here and hit save. Now that the Facebook app events SDK is enabled and we've entered our settings and saved that, we now need to publish a new app package. So head over to publish, publication, follow your usual steps and then publish back to the app store. Or if you want to test this out just to see some stats, which is what I have done, you can get your debug package that will also show up down here in your build request history. So you can download this and then install it on your device. Once the package is installed, it will ask users to accept to be tracked. If they click yes, Facebook will start tracking the users and the events should start to be received by Facebook. But there could be a few minutes delayed for this to be logged. 
and you can see all of this data in the Facebook Events Manager. So let me show you that page here. This is my Facebook Events Manager overview. Now, when you come to this page, make sure you are logged in with the business account that is connected to the app. So if you remember during the setup, I selected my Fergie business account. So I have to make sure that I'm logged in with this account. Otherwise, I won't see anything on my dashboard here. And I can see all of my events that have been tracked so far. So just from having installed the debug package on my device myself and tested it out, I can see a few stats already. Now, obviously, if this were based on my App Store version of the app, these numbers would be a lot higher. And depending on the complexity of your app, you can track different events. But my app is very, very simple, so there isn't really much to track. I can also come into my data sources view and see some usage and data charts here. Now you know how to integrate Facebook app events. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button down below and I will see you in the next one. Bye.